Hey, welcome to another edition of SledShot.com. We're here checking out a 2011 Ski-Doo 800 uh, E-Tech. And uh, I've had some uh, reader requests for uh, a belt deflection and uh, how to change a belt tech tip on these new machines. Slightly different than the old ones, so uh, we'll kind of open up the side panels here and get started. These are the two tools you'll need, 4 mil Allen key, as well as the ski -Doo custom tool for adjusting your belt deflection. And as well, there's one other tool that could aid. If you did blow a belt, this is the uh, tool to help change it. So this is what spreads your secondary apart and uh, allows you to change your belt. ski -Doo's done a great job of uh, being able to do belt changes. This is their new little tool. It's a little different from the old one, but very simple. And uh, what I usually recommend to most people is they put a little um, little grease on this tool and it can kind of stay on there for a long time, but we'll go grab some. So as you can see, as I keep spinning the tool in, it's putting pressure against the helix and separating the two sheaves. And once they split them far enough, you can take the belt and just kind of peel it off. And then grab your new belt. Make sure you can read the writing in the belt, and it's the correct belt for the machine. And you can see the rotation direction forward on top. I'm going to hook it around the primary, and around the secondary, and then you can start backing your tool out. I like to spin the belt as I do it. Okay, so that was how to change the belt. Now we want to talk about belt deflection. And for a lot of people out there who don't know what belt deflection is, it's essentially how tight the belt sits on your pulleys and where exactly it's sitting on the sheaves themselves. So one of the, uh, the old ways of uh, recommending how to set your belt deflection was that the base of the grooves of your belt on the top half be in line with the rim of your secondary sheave. So, as you can see, this one is slightly down inside. Now, some people would call that loose. I don't consider it that bad. Basically what it's doing is increasing the longevity of your belt. Now, you might lose a little bit of performance that way. I'm, I'm talking like 50 RPM or so, not very much of a difference. But it helps just keep the belt sitting inside the sheave because the tighter the belt is, if it's sitting way down on this cord line on the top of the sheave, at idle, if it spins at all, it's going to wear away at that at the cord and help delaminate your belt. So this belt is a little bit loose, so we can tighten it up a little bit, and we'll show you how to do it. So the first things first, four mil Allen key. I'm just going to set it in here and loosen up your deflection tool. Just a little bit. And something to keep in mind is this is a reverse thread. So I can make points. Like so. And then also. Like so. So, so now I have my tool pretty loose right now and you can see there's a gap between the back of the adjustment and the, the helix itself. So I can just roll the belt or roll the, roll the secondary at this point and you can see as I roll it the belt has gotten substantially stiff or tighter here. So at this point, my belt is so tight, there's no way I could spin it. And you can see how high it's sitting on top of the secondary sheath. My grooves are well above the level of the secondary. So this is how I like to do it. I just tighten it back in until it's snug. Grab my tool. 
set it on. And now I just give it a little bit of spin. And as you can see, as I spin it, my belt's dropping down into the secondary. Spin it a little more. My hand in the way there. There we go. And we got a little bit more. Okay, the base of my ribs are sitting flush with the top of the secondary sheave, the rim. And as you can see, as I push the belt together and take the slack out of it, so quite a bit of play around the, the axle of the primary. And from there, I just want to take my 4 mil, remember to tighten it back up, just till it's snug. And that's it. So that's it for belt deflection on a 2011 Ski Do E-Tech. Um, if anybody has any questions, feel free to email through. And uh, other than that, that's the ins and outs. So have fun out there, and we'll see you out there on the snow.